disclaimer, these are not our personal favorites when it comes to aftermarket wheels. These are not the best wheels that are on the market. Most of them might be. Most of them might be. These are what we expect to see in the car scene in 2020. All over the, the place. Part. Like showing up on cars, out car on cars, shows, car shows, all, all that, that kind of stuff. stuff. So this is the top 20 list of what we expect to see as some of the most popular wheels in 2020. Last year, we had some blue smoothies that, uh, I don't know, man, you know, had a little bit of... Okay. You mean like these? You mean like this? All right, you know the drill. Wheel tire suspension. Fitministries.com, baby. Let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so with that wrapped up, I think we should just hop straight into the wheel list and get going here. Absolutely. Cool. And just a quick note, every wheel mentioned on this list is available at fitmanindustries.com, so go check it out. Wheel starts mentioned, Fitman Industries, don't forget to subscribe. Give them the first wheel. All right, so starting off, we have number 20, the Conte Frickin' Tandem. All right, I really like this company. They're bringing back old school JDM designs. Absolutely. And the Tandem is one of those really good looking wheels that it has aggressive offset, good amount of concave, um, it's not gonna fit every application, but right. the ones it does fit on Looks really look good. Yeah. really good. And the reason it's at number 20 is Conte's a fairly new brand. Like, yeah. they're not fresh new. They've been out for a little over a year now. A little now. over a year now. They're yeah, full so. form wheels. They got good designs. Yep. Uh, the tandem, more kind of based after that GTR style wheel, off yep. like the R34s and stuff like that. Um, really good looking wheel. Moving on to the next one. All right, and up at 19, we have the Adhan DSO2. Now this is a wheel that offers a deep lip. It's a single piece cast wheel, making it a very solid choice for those looking for like 350Zs, the Genesis Coupes, even some maybe like wide body FRSs and stuff like that. Sure. They're a cast wheel, they get really wide. They're very affordable. Definitely they affordable. They offer some good styling. You can get like that multi-piece look with them. You know, yeah. you know, I mean, I mean, you know. it's that entry level wheel. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's why it made the list. Exactly. All right, what's number 18? So moving on to number 18 is I own a set of this brand. Rotiform RSE, oh, okay. all, right. all right? So the you RSE- some VIP monitors on the list? No, no, no. <laughs> Rotiform BLQs, I got them on the wagon. Yep. Anyways, the RSE oh, cool. is a super good option from Rotiform. These are wheels that literally, you're probably gonna hear this quite a bit on these lists, but these wheels look good on everything. Absolutely. And that's why you're gonna see them so much coming in 2020. And they also accept the aero disc, right? Yes, so that is a super cool function of that Absolutely. because they have that like spinning thing that it hides like that the, the lug nuts. Style, yeah. yeah, it's not a center lock. It's not meant to be yeah. anything like that. It's just meant to cover the lug nuts and kind of give it a clean look. But what's cool about that is you can do the uh, you can do the aero disc over that, and that gives you a ton of customizable mm -hmm. options as well. And not only that, but the Rotiform RSCs are really affordable. You get that Rotiform name, you get a good look, and these aren't just Rotiforms meant for Volkswagens. I've seen these on Mustangs yeah. and everything in between. And so they're right around like a thousand bucks. Yeah, so. exactly. Super cool. Cool. So moving on to number 17, we have the second wheel from Kanse, probably the more popular of the group, and that is, it's the Kanse KMP. It's, it's a Patrick wheel. It's the, it's the Browns Patrick five spoke wheel that yep. everybody asks about in every video. So this is Conte's most popular design. Yeah, it's this kind is of like, like flagship wheel. Absolutely, it yeah. is their flagship wheel. It's a dope like textured bronze finish that it comes in. It comes in a silver and like a dark gunmetal gray. The bronze looks phenomenal. The though. bronze looks really good. It's probably my favorite out yeah. of the group. So it is, again, a flow form wheel, relatively affordable, right around $1,000, $1,100, depending on what size you need. And they do get aggressive with their offsets as well. Mm -hmm. So. Absolutely deserving of the number 17 spot on the list. Okay, so moving on to number 16, we have the 1552 Turbo Mac, and this one hits home for me, all right? Focus Still, gang, yeah. focus gang, you know what I'm saying? That five by 108 bolt pattern can be a bit of a bitch, all right? <laughs> so the nice part about the 1552 brand is they offer five by 108, so you're gonna see a lot of these wheels on Focus STs, but they fit a bunch of other things too. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I see them on like Mini Coopers, like hatchbacks, yeah. hatchbacks a lot. Yeah. Um, they're kind of like a rally inspired wheel, you know, they have that, I don't wanna say mesh design, but it's like a spoke with a mesh into it, yeah. like it's, it's different. It's not for everyone, but it's extremely popular in the hatchback community, Absolutely. I'd say that. Moving on to number 15, we got Cosmos Racing coming into the mix with none other than the XT006R. Now That's this a is good a one. six spoke design with 
a decent step lip on it too. Sure. So you get kind of the best of both worlds here. It's good for like big brake clearance, all that kind of good stuff. It's a solid six spoke wheel, comes in a bunch of good colors as yeah. Cosmos is known for. Yeah, you get some especially that, the red. Yeah, you get Ooh. the bronze, you get the red, you get the silver, uh, white, black, black chrome, whatever have you. But they come in really good sizes, really aggressive offsets, great colors. And a good price. It's a Cosmos Racing Wheel, right around eleven $1 hundred dollars as well. So. Hell yeah! So number fourteen, uh, we're get, we're getting a little bit away from the affordable stuff here. Okay. BBS LM. Really. So this is a super classic design. The reason it makes the list is because this wheel is timeless. All right. Absolutely. And it looks freaking amazing. The reason it's not higher because it's expensive as. <laughs> but, I yeah. mean, the, yeah. I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. It's expensive, yeah. but you're paying for quality. You're getting the BBS quality and the LM looks amazing. It's one of the only multi-piece wheels on this list. Yeah. And it just, it's phenomenal. Yeah. What, what can you say of, about that one? A lot of people are starting to pick them up again. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are yeah, they're making a comeback for that class of design. They're like, you know, I want some BBS wheels. What other BBS wheel to pick up than the LM? They're still making them. You can still pick them up in the size that you need, whatever finish you need. There you go. And then coming up to number 13. Oh which God, unlucky 13. The Option Lab 716, R716. Okay. Yep. Now, this is a wheel that's very, very popular on the WRX, FRS, and BRZ I see, community. I see specifically a lot of because FRSs. of like the sizes that they come in. They don't make a lot of sizes. They don't have a lot of finishes, but the sizes and like offsets and everything that they are in, are like made for those cars sure. and they run them so that 18 by 9 and that plus 35 it's like a solid go-to and you know they're very affordable they got the bolt or they got the right bolt patterns for everything and you know what they, they come in some good sizes and a couple good finishes and yeah i believe you can get these for focus sts as well so that's yeah. another one that's on the radar for like, the focus guys it's like a seven eight hundred dollar set of wheels yeah I mean, super affordable very good entry great level entry level wheel good. that looks good on about everything and i'm seeing more of these pop up in our gallery like Every as day, time goes day on, day. yeah. Okay, so we're up to number 12, we're out of the teens, and we have the F1R F103. Okay. So it's kind of a busier design, it has a lot of spokes going yep. on. You see a lot of these, they come in bigger sizes, so you're gonna see them, I, I see them pulled off on Volkswagen GTIs sure. a bunch and stuff like that. These are a super affordable option as well, great wheel to get into the game. You'll see them on 350Zs because of their bigger sizes, yeah, G35s. they do get up to like the 19s and 20s even, like they do get pretty big. Yeah, and the, I wouldn't say they're like a sportier look, they're more of like a, I'd say luxury-ish yeah. kind of look. Yeah. So if you're going for that look, this would be a great option mm -hmm. for you. But just the price point that they come in at makes them so high on this list. Absolutely. So coming in strong at number 11, we have the Koenig Decagram. Super popular. Now this is one that we've seen on the list throughout the last couple of years just because it is such yep. a popular wheel. Now this is an affordable track and inspired wheel design. Now it's great for big brake clearance yep. as well, like very similar with a lot of the Koenig wheels. That's what they kind of design them for. It is one of their flow formed wheels. Mm -hmm. So they got like the hypergram, the decagram, uh, the whatever gram, you know, Instagram, Instagram, whatever it may be, but it is a flow form wheel. So it's, it's got a good strength weight ratio. Um, the finishes are really nice. They're just like a really solid looking like wheel. Like Definitely. Or they do what they're meant to do and they do it well. And you know what? It's another affordable wheel as well. Yeah. It's a common trend with these wheels right around like probably around $800 for a set of four. Damn. Wheels. So under a grand. Yeah. Damn. Love the gram. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Moving on to number 10, we have the JNC. JNC 005. That's a tongue twister. Yeah. And this is a wheel we see constantly this is a super popular wheel as we get into this top 10 these are wheels that you see pretty much all over the place and the jnc right. 005 there's no exception so you get that multi-piece look without the multi-piece price and i think that's why it's such a popular that's wheel. The selling point yeah, yeah people getting into the car game and even some people that have had their cars for a bit they go with these wheels they look good they're extremely affordable Absolutely. so you'll probably see this at a ton of car shows just because of the price moving on from into the top 10 we are at our number nine wheel which Ooh. is of course the nkr pf1 extremely light Great price. Absolutely. This is like NK's flagship wheel. Everybody knows the RPF one. Yeah. That's why it's on the list. It's gotta be on here. Yeah. You can't get past it. Moving on to number eight, we have one of my personal favorites. I absolutely love this wheel. It's the Work Emotion D9R. Hey. So this wheel's phenomenal. Yeah. It's gonna be right at about that two grand price range, depending on what wheel size you go with. But you get the work name, you get the work quality, and it's just, it looks so freaking good. They make some cool color options for this wheel as well. This is one of my personal favorites on the list. Absolutely. You're gonna be seeing it on cars, all around car shows, because like you get your first set of wheels, the second set of wheels, or maybe your third set of wheels, that's gonna be the work of motion D9Rs. Right. That's kind of or where you go. something from along that line. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So moving into wheel number seven, we see another Koenig coming in. So this is one that we kind of mentioned on before. Yep. Uh, so this is a Koenig Ampliform. So there's another 
flow form wheel from Koenig. It's lightweight, it's got good finishes, got good styling. You get the 18s, 17s, they fit pretty much anything. They look good on pretty much anything. You got a nice bronze finish, it's probably my favorite finish yeah, out of all of them. Yeah, they look good. And you know, honestly, that the Koenig does it right. Mm -hmm. They do it right, they do it good. And that's why they're on the list. So moving on to number six, we have the ESR SR08. Okay. This used to be one of our like top, I think, was it last year was our number it one? Was probably, yeah, it was probably up uh, there. If not, it was way up there. But this is a super affordable option and it looks really good. When you get concave on this wheel, it looks awesome. So the reason it's moving down is ESR is kind of moving away from that look yeah. and they're going towards really their own their unique own thing, looks, yeah. which is really cool to see. So that's why we're moving it down a little bit because ESR is going to be pushing a little less. We'll probably be pushing a little yeah. less and looking at ESR's new stuff. Yeah. Keep an eye on ESR this year. They're doing some cool stuff. Definitely. They got their own like designs coming out. They got cast versions of their multi-piece wheels coming out. It's pretty neat. But don't sleep on the SR08. It's a great looking wheel at a great price. Moving on to wheel number five, we're reaching that top five mark. Yep. We got the Avid One AV6. Now this is a very, very affordable wheel. Yes. Probably why it's so far yeah, up there. Why we why see it there. so much, you know, as you get up the list. Uh, seven spoke design with a lip that looks good on pretty much anything. Yep. It's really, you know, you can't say much about the AV6. They got a lot of finishes because it's Avid One. Yep. They got a lot of sizes because it's Avid One. And it's affordable because it's Avid One. Exactly. So moving on to number four, we have the Avid One again, AV20. Okay. So this is going to be all over the place too. As you can see, Avid One is on our upper mm -hmm. part of the list here because they they come in so affordable. They come in a ton of color options. This is a gravity cast wheel from Avid One. It has good looks and I mean, you're gonna see these on a bunch of different cars. They offer a bunch of different bolt patterns. Yeah, WRX is a lot, yeah. I see Civics. I mean, they're, that's everything. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty, so moving into our top three and we got some good examples yep. of our top three wheels here. So. That is the Adhan DS07. Now this is another affordable multi-piece style wheel. You can obviously see why this is a popular wheel. It gets people the look that they're going for, but it's a very affordable wheel. You get the lip, you can get a deep lip on these guys. Everyone wants multi-piece wheels, but let's get down to it. They're expensive yeah, as hell. Unless you're buying used yeah. and like, you know, you gotta find the right size for them, maybe get them rebuilt. If you're just looking for something for a couple hundred bucks, exactly. this is what people go with. Exactly, extremely easy to get into the game. You want some aftermarket wheels, you're sick of your stock wheels. You just need to get something on yep. it. Here's an entry level wheel that you're gonna see all over the place because Absolutely. of its super popular design. Okay, moving on to number two, we have the Rohana RFX. 11, this is Can a gorgeous say, wheel. I love this wheel. Yeah. This is so, like one of my favorites. This is actually on the opposite end of the spectrum of the last wheel we right. looked at. <laughs> this is when you start getting a little pricier, but the people that have money to spend are picking up this wheel right. because it looks so good. This is more of your luxury line of stuff. Like you, yeah. even though they are extremely lightweight, like yep. they're light for what they are. They rotary come in- Rotary forged wheel. Yeah, rotary forged. They're bigger sizes though. So you're gonna see a lot of these in like 20 inch size and stuff like that. So the reason why this is number two on the list is because as cars get bigger, we yep. see of those bigger cars that were like really started to come out like the late 2010s, like 2012. People are American. moving up on sizes. People are moving up on cars because they're getting a little more affordable. They're picking up those bigger cars like BMWs, uh, Audis, stuff like that. Mercedes. Mercedes, and they actually do offer like, like Mercedes offsets. I don't know if you know, they're like really weird. Yeah, they are. And they, and they make like a plus 43 offset on these guys, which is absolutely perfect. So the Rohana RFX 11, absolutely fantastic choice. The finishes that Rohana offers is like out of and this And when you world. can get concave on the, these absolutely. wheels, they look amazing. These are big boys. Then, yeah. These are, oh, these yeah. are like 20 by 12. 20, but yeah. honestly, like, they're not that heavy. When you see this wheel, you expect it to be heavy just because of its size, but it's not bad no, for what it is. It's absolutely not. lightweight. So, so, so intermediate option. price point, you're not looking at to like really break the bank, but you're gonna be looking at above 1500 for a set of these, but honestly, not bad at all for what you get. Moving on to number one. We made it, boys. This is it. This is it. Thank you for sticking through. We made it to number one. This is the wheel that we expect to see probably the most of in 2020, moving forward. Are you ready? They got so popular. They did. Are you gonna? Cosmos Racing XT 206 R, baby! Ooh, I love these wheels. These are fantastic. Last year I said it, they were a little lower on our list. We're seeing them move up as Cosmos gets more popular throughout the years. And I love this wheel. It's one of my favorites on the list as well. Yeah, so like I said before, Cosmos absolutely kills it with their finishes as well. They got reds, they got blacks, they got the bronzes, they got the whites, they got the silvers, they got the polish, they got the red and polish, they got the black and machine yep. edges, they got everything. You know what? And they're like pretty affordable. They're at that like yeah. high, like right below like a thousand dollars, a little over a thousand, depending mm -hmm. on the uh, size Sizes and everything and that everything you go with. That. But honestly, these things absolutely kill it on pretty much every car they go on. One thing I'd say though, lower offset, the better with these wheels. Yes. Because 
once you start getting where you, you have like a higher offset and you don't got the much lip or concave, bit, yeah. it almost turns into a different wheel. So I would recommend having a lower offset on these, yeah. but they, I love these wheels. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, that is our top 20 wheels for 2020. Made it. What we think we're gonna see the most out on cars, out in the scene, in our gallery, all that sort of good stuff during the year 2020 and moving forward. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, every wheel that we have talked about tonight, you can find it on our website over at FitmentIndustries.com. If you wanna find out more information about them, check them out, see them on your car, go to the gallery, plug it in, all sorts of good stuff. This, we got a lot of good stuff. And if there's there. a wheel that you thought should have made the list, comment down below. We wanna see what you guys think will be the most popular wheels of 2020 to Absolutely. comment below all right so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe we will see you later peace